Uh, we are going to demonstrate the flow rate characteristic change as pressures change in a system. We're going to be looking at three separate loops, one with an ATC valve, one with an ATC valve with a manually set balancing valve, and one loop with a PICCV, which is a pressure independent characterized control valve that will maintain flow rate over a varied change of system pressure. We're going to look now at the first loop. The conventional ATC valve set at five pounds pressure differential, eight pounds in, three pounds out for the five pound differential that renders a 1.2 GPM flow rate. As we look at the PICCV loop, we're maintaining 1.1 GPM at this level. We are now going to increase the pressure differential to 10, which is 14.5 in, 4.5 out, with an increase in flow rate up to 1.5 GPM. We'll look at the PICCV and see that we're still maintaining 1.1 GPM. Now we'll focus on the middle valve and set it for 10 PSI, 12.5 in and 2.5 out with a corresponding flow rate of 0.9 GPM. And again, our PICCV is at 1.1. As we decrease the pressure differential to 5 pounds, 6.5 in, 1.5 out, we see that our flow rate has decreased to 0.7 GPM. While we look down at the PICCV, which is still maintaining the 1.1 GPM. So the beauty of the PICCV is that it will maintain a steady state flow rate over a varied change of system pressures. It will eliminate the low delta T often seen in systems, but it will also allow an increased flow rate to its design capacity during a time of demand for that flow rate. Because it has a, a separate ATC signal, it can also throttle flow rate based on the demand if it's less than the full capacity of flow.